HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Welcome to the Having It All podcast, the show about what it takes to live an abundant, loving life. My name is Matthew Bivens, and each week I'm helping you get out of your head so that you can truly have it all. Let's do it. What's up, everybody? Matthew Bivens here, and I appreciate you joining me for another episode of the Having It All podcast. Now, for this episode, I'm starting this off by letting you know that this one is definitely one you don't want to be listening to with young ears around. I'm going to be talking about some subject matter that's... uh, a little bit more on the more mature side, and I imagine my language will venture into that mature area as well. So it'll be a great idea for you to pause this and listen when you are by yourself. Because today's episode was inspired by a question I received just last week uh, by someone uh, very close to me, and she asked me this question, and you know, it really got me thinking about the transformation and growth and healing that I've experienced uh, recently over the past four years. And, you know, there's a lot in there in my story that um, I think you all can truly, truly, uh, you know, benefit from and, and, you know, potentially be inspired by. And I know that because a lot of you guys have reached out to me via email on past episodes and said that things that I've shared have really resonated with you. And so I really think this episode will be one of those. So again, this is a more mature episode, definitely rated explicit, and uh, I'll give you all a second to go ahead and make sure that you're in a cool place to listen. All right, so the question that I was asked was a simple question, um, and it was, you know, what has been the cause of my shifts, the transformation, the growth, and the healing that, I, that has happened in my life over the past four years? Because... Four years ago, it's what, 2017 right now, so in, in um, March, really this month, March of 2013, I was a much different person, uh, as I'm sure a lot of you are as well, you know, because we're constantly changing and evolving, and um, I have changed and evolved a hell of a lot over the past four years. So where I was four years ago, well, I had very low trust in myself, very low trust, very low confidence um, that I could do the things that I want to, achieve the things that I want to, become the person that I wanted to become. I spent a lot of time envying others. I spent a lot of time looking at people and really just being jealous, jealous of them physically, how they looked, jealous of what they were able to achieve, jealous of their bank accounts, jealous of their romantic relationships, jealous of so many damn things. And it, it you know, when you're in that place, you don't form a, a very uh, empowering or positive self-image. So my self-image was really uh, damaged. Um, I think physically, I had this mask of physical confidence. What I mean by that is, is that on the outside, people would see me and you know they assumed that I was a very confident person. 
Uh, I was somebody who exercised a lot and I was always fit and in shape. And, you know, that's kind of how they perceived me. But internally, man, I judged the shit out of myself. Like I said, I was constantly comparing myself to other people. I was never big enough. I was never strong enough. And I'm biracial. And that, that played a part in my identity when I was young. You know, having people ask me questions like, what are you? You know, my dad's black and my mom's white. So I had kind of have this, this coloring in between. But I always was feeling like I was never dark enough. I always wanted to be darker. And, you know, that stuff messes with your mind and it, and it, and it warped my mind. So I had that going for me. I was completely financially immature. And, you know, what that looked like is that I was scared and really avoided anything that had to do with personal finance. Um, I, was, I, I was afraid to look at my bank account. I was anxious during any financial conversation. I had debt and I didn't know what to do about it. So it just kept accumulating. I kept, you know, gaining or, or, or opening up new credit cards and spending the money. I didn't know anything about budgeting. I just avoided all of it. And that contributed to my scarce mindset. You know, I never felt like I had enough money. I never felt like I made enough money. I never felt like I was able to to make money. Uh, I just felt like I was a person that was going to be struggling for their whole life. And all of these things played a part to impact my relationship. HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. Why don't more infant formula companies use organic grass fed whole milk instead of skim? Why don't more infant formula companies use the latest breast milk science? Why don't more infant formula companies run their own clinical trials? Why don't more infant formula companies use more of the proteins found in breast milk? Why don't more infant formula companies have their own factories instead of outsourcing their manufacturing? We wondered the same thing. So we made Byheart, an infant formula company on a mission to get a lot closer to the most super, super food on the planet, breast milk. Our patented protein blend has more of the important and most abundant proteins actually found in breast milk. We're the first and only U.S.-made formula to use organic, grass-fed whole milk, not skim. We even conducted the largest clinical trial by a new infant formula company in a quarter century, with clinically proven benefits like easier digestion, less spit-up, and softer poops versus a leading infant formula. And we make our own formula in the U.S.A. and our very own factories in Iowa, Oregon, and Pennsylvania. Byheart, a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. And so four years ago, I was with Sarah, who's now my wife. And, you know, we were dating at the time. And I think our intimacy, you know, would be described lukewarm as be- at best. You know, we kind of had this lukewarm uh, bedroom romance, you know. And, and both of us were bringing into the bedroom, into the relationship, bringing our fears and our judgments and our, our critical self-talk. And they just didn't. You know, the, the sparks weren't necessarily there. And yet we, we were very much into each other. We loved hanging out with one another. We considered one another our best friends. But there was definitely things that just weren't popping like they are now. Now, that's where I was. That's what my life looked like four years ago. And now, four years later, I mean, crazy, crazy shifts have happened. So, you know, I'm going to say this with humility, but I have an insane amount of confidence right now. And that confidence really is, is flanked by, like I said, humility. So I've come to understand things about myself, how I operate, what I'm capable of, things that I never knew before. You know, I realize that I'm, I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm more resourceful, I'm more kind, I'm more compassionate. 
I'm more passionate, I'm more sexy, I'm more courageous than I ever knew was possible for myself. And I also realized that I don't know it all. I don't know it all. That I'm constantly understanding myself anew. I'm constantly learning all these new things about myself and that my growth, my ability to grow and to heal and transform is really contingent upon my ability to seek out and receive feedback and to receive that feedback powerfully because that's what helps me to keep understanding myself anew. And, and that for me is the humility piece. And what's also shifted is that the relationship that I have with, with Sarah, now my wife, is, I mean, it is beautiful. It is strong. It is passionate. It is loving. It is trusting. You know, this, this crazy amount of trust that we have for one another. And I, I, I call us, I, I consider us very connected. Connected and not attached. Right? Connected is like two magnets. You know, they come together and that bond is very, very, very strong. But when they separate, they separate clean. Right? Attached is like gluing two pieces of paper together and then trying to pull them apart. You know, there's a lot of consequences, there's a lot of damage that comes when you're very attached, or you could also think of it as dependent on one another. Sarah and I are very connected, but we're not attached like that. We're not dependent like that. Or at least we're, we've been working through that idea of dependency. And that's something that I'm still working through. You know, it's something that um, there's a lot of stories that I've been working on, on re, rewriting, rescripting for myself to become less and less dependent, less and less attached. But I definitely feel like we are more connected than attached. We have amazing sex, amazing sex. And, and our intimacy is just, I mean, it's, it's mind-blowing. It's deep. It's, you know, we, we just really come together and, and are able to melt into one another physically, emotionally, spiritually, all those things. And one of the things that we've been able to do as we sort of explore ourselves and explore our relationship is we've been exploring the parameters of our relationship and looking at what loving unconditionally means. And for us, that looks like non-monogamy. You know, we're married and we love each other insanely, but we also support one another in creating powerful, intimate relationships with other people. And these relationships are physical, they're spiritual, they're emotional, all of that. Some of the other shifts I've made is I've really opened myself up to abundance and I generate so much more money today than I ever have which mu with, with much less effort. And my confidence and my ability to achieve the goals that I set out is so high. I know that if there's something I want to create, if there's something I want to do with my business, if I want to launch a podcast and, and reach tens of thousands of people every month, I know that I can do that. You know, I'm able to take risks. I'm able to do things that really no one else around me that I know personally is doing, such as you know, quitting my job to pursue my passion right before having a baby, you know, starting a podcast, hosting multiple podcasts, leveraging my gifts and my talents, and, and really taking all those things and building an online empire. Those are like some of the shifts that I've made over the past four years. So to go from that place of just fear and playing small, and scarce, and highly dependent, and critical to a place of love, and abundance, and humility, and compassion, and so many other beautiful things, that was what my friend was asking me. What, what did you do, or what helped you go from place A to place B over the past four years? And so, I'm going to share with you what I told her. I'm going to share with you the things that really, really helped me. And there's three things, three main things that helped me to, to shift and evolve, transform, and heal my life. The first thing is that I understand what choosing love and choosing fear feels like. I understand what those two things feel like because I spent so many years of my life choosing fear. And what I mean by that is that I would be at a crossroad. I would be at a point in my life where I had two options. One option scared the shit out of me, terrified me, intimidated me, and made me feel anxious and nervous. The other option made me feel comfortable. 
With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Comfortable because it wasn't a threat. And so many times in my life, I chose that comfort. I chose that non-threatening path. I chose the path that allowed me to be in my ego that allowed me to be in my fear and not have have to be tested. And I did that again and again and again. And I even recorded an episode. I published it, I don't even know when, a week or so ago, about this, about that moment when you have that choice and you can choose fear or love. So many times I chose fear. And every time I chose fear, I always knew that I was choosing the fear and I always felt like shit afterwards. Because I knew that I was letting myself down. Because I knew that I had, I had given up an opportunity to grow and to really see what I was made of. So having done that so many times, I knew what it felt like to choose fear. And I also knew what it felt like to choose love. Because this, you know, sprinkled within all those fear choices were times when I did actually you know, step up and be courageous and, and choose love and do something that made me nervous, but I would do it anyway. And that leads me into the second point, and that's really knowing that growth and power and transformation is on the other side of stepping into your fear. So for me, every time I, was, I would make the loving choice and say, you know what, I'm going to do this thing because... Because I know that on the other side of that, that whatever the nerves are, whatever that fear is, I know that it's going to be sweet. I know that I'm going to feel amazing. I know that I'm going to be energized. I'm going to feel more confident. And that's what happened every single time. Every single time I had an opportunity presented in front of me where I started to sweat or my heart started to pound, and I stepped into it anyway, despite all those things. Every single time, first of all, I always survived. Right? It wasn't like I died. Nothing, no, no, you know, no, nothing totally defeated me. I always survived. I always learned something. And I always was like, wow, I was able to do that. I didn't think I could do that, but I did. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was. That's the second thing. So again, the first thing was understanding what, it, what choosing fear and choosing love feels like. The second thing is knowing that transformation always lies on the other side of that fear, when you have that fear, when you're scared of something and you move through it anyway, there's always transformation and growth and healing that lives over there. The third thing is what really does it because the third thing is what actually moves you, actually gets you into action. For me, that was growing some balls and deciding that I was going to step into the fear when it came up. Ladies, it's growing some ovaries and saying, you know what? I don't care if that makes me scared. I don't care if that intimidates the hell out of me. I don't care if that, if I don't know what I'm doing, if I've never done it before, if I have no examples of it succeeding, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna move through this anyway. Because I know that these nerves that are coming up is just energy. It's just my thoughts, it's just my stories. And I have an opportunity to shift those. I can shift them by stepping into this, stepping in powerfully, being courageous, being bold, taking that risk, and doing it anyway. And that has been the, one of the biggest I think, mechanisms of my shift over the past four years. It was just telling myself that, you know what, when you feel nervous and scared, you're going to move into it. That's a sign that, that this is a thing for you to move into. 
Those nerves and fear are just presenting themselves as an opportunity. And I decided that, you know what, I'm going to start taking those opportunities. Because I was tired of feeling jealous of other people. I was tired of looking at folks and just daydreaming what, their, what life would be like if I was them. I was tired of that feeling of, of shame and guilt when I chose to succumb to my fears and I chose the easy, easy path. I was tired of playing small. I was tired of not being confident. I was tired of all of that stuff. And that's what led to the shifts in my life. So I'm sharing this with you because if you're listening, you're, you know, I know that you're inspired to play for your greatness, whatever that looks like, to become the greatest version of yourself. I know that you are inspired to shift some of that disempowering self-talk to quiet that inner critic, quiet those voices that tell you that you can't or that you aren't good enough or that you aren't enough or that people don't love you or to quiet all of that and to replace it all with love and power and peace. I know that you've had plenty of circumstances just like I have to, to face those fears, to face those demons of yours, to go up against them. And I imagine that you stopped and didn't and held yourself back from time to time. And all I'm saying to you is that there is such sweetness on the other side of stepping into those fears. It's not easy. It's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. If it was easy, everybody would have that confidence with the humility. Everybody would be abundant. Everybody would, would, would look th at things through a lens of love. Everybody would show compassion. Because getting to that place is not always easy. I don't know anybody who, who is those things and who had a very sort of simple road to getting there. At least my experience, for me personally, it wasn't. And it's because again and again and again my ego got confronted. Again and again and again those stories that I had been telling myself about myself and other people in the world got confronted again and again and again the the paradigms and the and, and the constructs that I had made about how things work got confronted and I had to constantly look at them and say okay is this creating the life experience that I want is this belief that it has to look this way is that creating the happiness and the peace and the joy and the love that I want to experience if it is cool keep rolling if it isn't then maybe you want to drop it. Maybe you want to pick up a different belief. So one more time, the three things that really contributed to the monumental shifts that I have made personally in my life over the past four years are one, understanding what choosing fear and what choosing love feel like. Number two, knowing that transformation, your opportunity to transform and to heal and to grow lies on the other side of that fear. All I have to do is step into it. And number three, it's making that decision for yourself to be courageous, to be bold, and to step into that fear whenever it comes up, as opposed to turning and going the other direction. Those three things have been monumental for me, and I would venture to say that they would do some, some uh, they would cause some shifts in your life as well. And so I want to hear about it. I want to hear about your stories of stepping into your fears or your sh the shifts that you've made in your life and what has helped you to create those shifts. So if you have some of that you want to share with me, please, please don't hesitate to email me. My personal email address is mattcbivens at gmail.com. That is my personal email address. And all the folks who have emailed me know that I get back to every single person who emails me. And uh, I would love to hear from you. And, you know, if you want, I can share your story on the podcast. I'm open to doing that as well. And if you've gotten something from this podcast, if you enjoy listening, if you're a regular listener or this is your first time and you're like, man, you know what? This is, is kind of cool. I dig the, the vulnerability. I dig the boldness. I dig this conversation. I would love and appreciate 
um, you subscribing on iTunes, subscribing on iTunes and leaving a review. You know, a review takes about 30 seconds and uh, honest review. That's what, that's definitely what I want. Honest feedback. And, um, that'll be super cool. Super, super cool. Uh, the notes for this episode are going to be over on Fireside Network. Uh, I have a few notes in there and I'm also going to put a link to the music that I use on the show. And again, that's at firesidenetwork.com. And I think that's it. I can't think of anything else to say. So you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really, really, truly appreciate you and am grateful for your ears. My name is Matthew Bivens, and here is to you having it all. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VGW group. Void prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.